Hey, Eric, how big of an emphasis was it for you guys to, to take Carey Price's eyes away and just kind of create all this traffic in front and be able to get kind of these deflection goals and chances that you really can't see? Yeah, I mean, we know he's really goalie, one of the best in NHL. So when he see the puck uh, from the distance, we know we, he can he can catch the puck. So we always have to be in front of him, you know, take take his eyes away and uh, and and try to make some traffic uh, in front of him. Joe Smith, The Athletic. Hey, Nikita, obviously you guys haven't played them in a year. Like anything kind of surprised you about what they did or like did you, was there like a feeling out process in the beginning of the game? You know, uh, we just stick to our plan and try to play the same way, uh, full 60 minutes. And, uh, you know, we don't think about them and, you know, we have the system, we have the plan and we stick to it. Mary Fiello, Tampa Bay Times. Hey, Eric, I was wondering if you could just walk us through your goal and what you were seeing there when Braden intercepted the pass and then obviously when Blot takes that shot there and, and you're able to redirect it past Carey. Yeah, that was huge, huge play uh, by Polly. I just tried to the puck from the zone. Uh, I mean, uh, Kuch did a really good job to uh, right straight to the, to the net, you know, took the defense from me and uh, I just had to tip the puck. So uh, that, was, that was pretty good. And... Uh, I was glad we got the first goal and really good start there. Eric Erlinson, Lightning Insider. Yeah, for Eric, um, it seemed like the D as a whole was a little more aggressive, jumping in the play and getting up the ice than maybe we saw earlier in the playoffs. Is that something that you see that you want to do to kind of create um, more, or is that uh, you know just kind of how the game develops? I mean, uh, our plan is, uh, is is like that, you know. We always try and uh, support the offense and uh, and try make uh, some plays for our forwards. So, how I said, we just have to continue doing that and uh, and uh, and try try make some offense too. Ed Ed Encina, Tampa Bay Times. Go ahead, Ed, if you have a question. We'll come back to you. Your audio is not working. We'll go to Chris Johnston, Sportsnet. Yeah, question for Nikita. I'm just wondering, Nikita, with everything you went through this season and you're rehabbing your injury and, and the long road it was for you, what was it like to get to a moment like this and play a Stanley Cup final game at home in front of your fans? Yeah, it was uh, it was tough mentally, I think, uh, not not be able to play. But, you know, it's, it's all in the past, and I'm just right now enjoying the moment and, you know, happy to be with the boys and, uh, you know, just excited to play in the final. Steve Simmons, Toronto Sun. Nikita, the play that Braden makes on the first goal, it's not the kind of play that maybe superstars are supposed to make or do make in the league. Tell me about that play and the kind of player he is that he can make that kind of play. Uh, actually, that. I... I think he mean the, the defense. Can't remember the goal. Uh, well, the pointer is uh, he's an unbelievable player. You know, he he knows when and what to do, and you know, at a certain time. And you know, he he's a hell of a player, and you know, he sees the ice and to make those plays. Uh, it's just who he is, and uh, it's fun to play with him. And you know, he he's been unbelievable for us. We'll do two more in English, and then we can do one in Slovak for Eric Dan Rosen, NHL.com. Yeah, Nikita, you mentioned how you just stuck with the game plan and tried to play that way for the full 60. What worked so well for you tonight to, to get a 5-1 win, do you think? Well, it just, uh, you know, stick to our game plan, and uh, that's what's working. And, uh, you know, coach is telling us what to do, and we I think we, we're doing a hell of a job, you know, listen to them and go out there and do it. So, you know, just put the puck deep and, uh, you know, go get it. Jay Retcher, 95-3. Cooch, I wanted to ask you about that first goal. It just seemed like with that backhander, you were just trying to throw it on net, trying to get something good to happen. That seems to kind of be the game plan here with Carrier Price, just throw a bunch of stuff on net, right? You know, not much I had to do there. So I was just trying to throw it on the net, see what happens. And unfortunately, it was a lucky bounce for us. Uh, I thought that was a poly goal. And, uh, you know, I hope I hope that him scored that goal at him. So... You know, that was just something that I think we, we need to do more, just throw the pocket in and, you know, make some traffic there. Nikita, thank you for the time. You yeah. can be excused. We'll do one in Slovak for Eric here. Zdenek Matioski, TV Nova Sport. 
Eriku, gratuluju. Jak by si ohodnotil váš dnešní výkon a výkon soupeře a hlavně ještě k tvému gólu, co můžeš dodat? Dát první gól Prajzovi, byl určitě skvělý pocit. Tebe dneska bylo vidět všude úplně. Myslím si, že pro nás byl důležitý v tomto finále začátek proti Montrealu. Nehrali jsme proti ním cez, cez jeden rok, takže nevěděli jsme, co můžeme od nich očekávat. Mali jsme ich naštudovaných, ale, ale přece ten, ten reálný zápas je úplně o něčem jiném, takže jsme rádi, že jsme ho zvládli. A k mojemu gólu Pali, Pali urobil neskutočný play na mě. Já ja jsem se to len stačí, snažil tipnout do brány a naštěstí to skončilo v pravém rohu, takže určitě jsem za to rád. Díky, Eric. Thank you, Eric. Thank you.